how are you? Well, unfortunately, my bees didn't make it through the winter, and um, I, I'm not all that surprised, to be honest with you, because uh, it was a tough winter, and you'll hear that bees often won't make it through a, a tough winter like that, especially for a first-time beekeeper with one hive. So there's plenty of food in the hive. I was I opened up the window of the hive first, and there was no activity, and then I started to peek inside the hive, and I accidentally pulled one of the bars right off of the comb here. And you can see it's just packed with honey. And there's also a lot of moisture in the hive, and that was probably the problem. And maybe there's a way I can avoid that next year. So if you know something about beekeeping, please chime in in the comments. Uh, let's go ahead and just check it out. This is how the hive was set up over the winter with two corks in two of the holes there. And then under the roof, a moving blanket for a little insulation, and that's just about it. I also put corks in the follower board where the bees would come out in the feeding chamber, and this is the follower board. On this side of the first comb, there's a lot of water, which I can only imagine is condensation made from the bees generating heat and there's a little bit of capped honey over here. This is the second bar and there's a lot of capped honey still on both sides. More condensation all in the comb down below here. But it's a heavy bar you can feel all the honey. This is bar number three and this is the bar that I accidentally broke. See all the honey there. The honey's delicious by the way. And there's the there's the queen I can see her. She's right here. Let's see if we can get a good look at her. You can tell the queen she's bigger but also she has a, a white dot painted on her. And so I'll put that back. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to reading the comments and Seeing what people have to say. I just accidentally broke another comb. When I build the next hive, I'm not going to use a viewing window because the bees tend to build the wax up against the plexiglass and it makes it difficult to remove the comb without cutting it away from the plexiglass. They see how they have like a kind of a nice tight edge here on this side with the plexiglass. They'll do these little stems here where they glue right to the glass and that makes it hard to pull the bar out of the hive. But you can see there's a lot of honey on this side of the comb here. Look at all that honey. That's another question. Maybe I should keep the comb and some of the honey for the new bees. This is another pretty heavy bar. Just a, a lot of honey in the hive. So it's nice to know that they didn't starve. It's a decent amount of honey in this comb. It's a lot of honey. There's still a lot of honey in the hive. This whole, well almost this whole bar is honey. This is the side of the hive with the viewing window and you can see how the bees have attached the wax right to the window and then up above the window but not below the window. And this is the side without the window and there's really only one section here which is easily cut away with a knife and one little section over here. And then I'll move the camera because now you can see all the dead bees. Well, what can I say? Uh, I kind of expected this was going to happen when we got all those cold days. 
So uh, basically, I want to ask the beekeeping community, if anybody's tuning into these videos, to chime in. What would be great, actually, if you made a video to answer some of these questions, and then I would put a link on this video and my next video where I build a top bar beehive. Uh, basically, what I realized when I was taking the hive apart is that there was a lot of moisture in the hive, and so uh, maybe there was just not enough ventilation. I really don't know about that. So I noticed where the uh, capped honey wasn't, there was a lot of water in the hive. So that's something that I'm curious about. Also, what should I do with the hive now? Should I clean all the wax out of it? Should I leave some of the honey and some of the wax for the next bees? And as far as processing the honey, well, this one's a real easy one because the kids will just eat this. I'll cut this into squares and the kids will eat it like candy. But when I have one that's like this over here, you've got all of this honey in this corner and then there's bees. I'm wondering, how do you process that? I'm not really sure. So if you have a video about that or if you want to chime in or make a video, uh, like I said, I'd be more than happy to put a link on the screen and link back to your video. So uh, I'm looking forward to the spring. I'm looking forward to building the next hives. And hopefully next year I should, you know, coming into the winter next year, I should have three hives. And if one of them makes it, the idea is that maybe I can split the hive once it gets strong enough and, and build the, the colony back up again. So for me, it's all uh, a learning experience. So, I, and I'm having fun with it. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.